morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So it is nine o'clock and as you've already seen, I have had my morning coffee time and now I'm getting ready to go to the gym. It's a little bit later start than I wanted, but it is okay. We are still doing this. We are definitely trying to do more of a paleo-ish focused diet for the next few weeks. I am going to be doing gym sessions. Um, I'm thinking three days a week. I'm shooting for three days a week. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm shooting for three days a week. I'm more of an underachiever, so I like to set the bar real low and know that I'm going to hit it every time rather than too high and never hit it, if that makes sense. Let's be underachievers here. I've been, mm, let's call it relaxed over the past year or so. With that said, I am going to go to the gym right now and then we will have breakfast. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the Okay, we are back home from the gym. Breakfast. I made an acai bowl. Very trendy, but very good. Uh, you just blend it with a little bit of almond milk. I put some protein as well. Half of a banana. Oh, and some frozen berries. Then, after you blend it, put it in a bowl. Toppings. The toppings are everything. The toppings are what make it. So, I add some banana, some wal walnuts, some blueberries, a little bit of paleo grain-free granola, and then I'll put some chia seeds and hemp hearts on top of it, and um, just drizzle a little bit of almond butter over the top. It is so good. Um, it's light, but it keeps you full. So I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll get the day started. Lunch. I, I had lunch at Starbucks today. A, I'm gonna include a screenshot of what I had. A venti iced coffee with no sweetener and heavy cream and an egg white wrap. And I am getting ready to make dinner. Um, and I'm going to share the recipe to this meal that I've been making lately. And I have just been obsessed with it. And Adam really likes it. Coconut sweet potato lentil soup. Sounds really weird, but it's not. You have to trust me. I did do a story of this on my Instagram. <laughs> I don't know how informative it was, but I am going to share it on the channel so that way you can reference it if you like it. I suggest you try it. It's really good. Um, so our spices, we have kosher salt. I really do like this curry. Um, I've tried other brands, but I really do like that one some garlic and some ground cayenne pepper. Those are the spices. So as far as the ingredients, we have some lentils and I am also going to add some rice to it. Tonight we are doing a little bit of rice. You will add a whole thing of chicken stock, a whole can of coconut milk and vegetables we have sweet potatoes onion and then i'm also going to add a um, handful of spinach to the mix
Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's freaking awesome. Full of flavor. Because we make it all the time, right? Full of flavor. All the time. Very healthy, no regrets. Eat as much as you want. Even though there's no protein in it, it's still good, right? I mean, there's for no a, meat. For as much as I love meat, yeah. it is a very flavorful dish, yes. Good morning, guys. It is the following morning. I completely forgot to close out the video last night, but it's okay because I ended up having one more snack after dinner. And typically, I have to have something sweet. Um, I know I'm not alone on that. So I did try this chocolate that we bought. I think any sugar-free chocolate is fine to have. It just depends on what type of sweeteners you like and don't like in your sugar-free food. So this was really good. I really could have eaten the whole bar, but I was a good girl and only had three squares. So um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video so if you did please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video